장갑 끼는 것부터 못해요. <웃음> Hi, I'm Sarah, and I am what one might call culinarily challenged. But what I lack in cooking skills, I make up for it in appetite. And what I like to eat the most is Korean food. One of my favorite Korean dishes is called kimbap, and it literally translates to seaweed and cooked rice. They're essentially sliced rolls that you could take on a trip or pack for lunch or just serve at home too. Kimbap is special in my family because growing up, my grandma would wake up at five in the morning every Sunday to make them for my whole family so that we could eat it on the car ride to church. My grandma has gotten a little bit weaker over the years, so she doesn't spend as much time in the kitchen anymore, but she taught my mom how to make her kimbap recipe. So that is what my mom and I will be making together today. Hi, <laughs> 엄마. 이 접시에는 엄마가 프레시 원 해놓고 여기에는 약간 쿡을 할수 있는 이런 재료들을 이렇게 갖다 놨어요. First, my mom prepares the raw ingredients by making sure they're all clean and sliced. Remember, this is my grandma's recipe, but you can personalize your kimbap however you'd like. Today we're using yellow pickled radish, or tamuji in Korean, cucumbers, fresh or pickled. My mom pickled these by soaking them in sugar and vinegar. I personally prefer them pickled just because I think they're more flavorful. Shredded carrots, daikon, which is a really mild flavored radish that adds a lot of texture, imitation crab, red bell pepper, and of course, dried sheets of seaweed or kim. My mom always has these condiments on hand for seasoning cooked ingredients. Next, my mom stirred up a couple of eggs and is cooking them for a few minutes over medium heat. In the same pan, she drops in some sliced Spam, which I consider to be the key ingredient to this recipe because I love Spam. Then she throws in the fish cakes and seasons them with a little sesame oil and sugar. When it's all done, she uses a paper towel to blot out any excess oils. And just like the raw ingredients, she makes sure all these are also sliced into thin, long strips. We use short grain sticky rice and kimbap. My mom mixes the cooked rice with a dash of sesame oil and sesame seeds. Fun fact, you can also use this as an alternative to glue for elementary school projects, speaking from personal experience. Shiny part down, non-shiny part face up. We start by placing sheets of seaweed onto our bamboo mats. Evenly spread the rice over about two-thirds of the seaweed. It helps the roll stick together once you put the rest of the ingredients inside. Mine came up short the first time. Now, just place the prepared ingredients. Leave a bit of uncovered rice on either end. Then, it's time to roll. My mom and I roll our bamboo mats, firmly squeezing as we go. If your kimbap is unrolling, like mine was, seal the edge of your seaweed with a dab of water. Ooh. It's pretty firm. <laughs> she just compliments it herself. <laughs> Rub the roll with a few drops of sesame oil for a little extra flavor. For me, this is the trickiest part, slicing the roll. This one is after a few trial runs. Ooh. With a sharp knife, just slice the roll into bite-sized pieces. Finally, my favorite part. It's time to eat. 감사합니다, 엄마. Thank uh, you. 그래서 <laughs> 나 오늘 김밥 잘 만든 거 같아. Do you think I did a good job? Uh, I think you did a good job. <laughs> First time, yeah. I enjoy it very much. Thank you. Do you think I could do better later? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>